As I jumped in from the surface, I could see this large shape down below. And these animals are just absolutely so stunning and majestic that they take my breath away time after time. Now I've recently learned that there are two different types of manta species. One is a larger oceanic species and the other is this one. They call it the reef manta. These reef mantas seem to have home territories in contrast with the oceanic mantas which will cover complete oceans and will spend one year in Australia and perhaps another off the East African coast. The same potato bass that are nearly always at this reef were in attendance once again today. As it swims into the current, it can pretty much hold its position and this gives a chance for the tiny doctor fish or cleaner ass to come out from the reef and clean the tiny parasites off this animal's body. Now the fact that I'm diving down here by myself on this shallow reef means that it's very very low impact. You can see the manta comes right close by me and at this point it actually lifts its wing over the top of my head as not to bump me. These have got to be some of the most beautiful and incredibly interesting animals in the entire ocean. Their brains too are comparatively very large with the rest of their body. What is also interesting is that the mantas have lost the stinging mechanism on their tails. Underneath you find a couple of remora fish. These hitchhikers will travel the oceans underneath the belly of this beautiful ray. As I moved in behind you can get quite a good view of where the claspers would be of a male ray. Here the claspers are definitely lacking and that means that we've got a female ray here. There's something so calming for the soul and just so peaceful when you're down on the ocean floor with an animal of this size and it really is a gentle giant. And if you want to know what it feels like to dive with a manta by yourself for 40 minutes, something like this. <laughs> <laughs> 